Hey family, so I want to share this dream with you real quick. Uh, it was a dream I had last night and it it was a flying dream. It was a preparing for a rapture dream. And it also had a recurring, reoccurring um, part of the dream that I've had in other dreams. So let's just get to this dream. So it started off, I was with a, a friend of mine named Mike and we were in the house and he was going around the house looking for something, but I don't remember what he was looking for, but I know he was looking for something. And then I was with another friend um, named Lawrence and a bunch of other guys that I knew and I grew up with. And we were in, I believe it was my house at that point. And we were getting ready for a trip that we were going to be going on the next day. Um, I knew that I had to pack a bag of lunch and bring a pair of sneakers or a pair of shoes. So then I knew I had to store all the things that I was going to be taking with me on this trip the next day, um, at Lawrence's house, which was, or in his room, which was in another house across the street. So... I leave the house, I leave my house and go across the street to Lawrence's house and um, the sneakers that I had were purple, yellow and orange color and I knew they were very valuable and important to me so when I got into his room I hid them under a book bag so no one would take them and as I was doing this, I was looking over at a storage bin that had shelves and with all the uh, lunch bags of all the guys that were going on a trip the next day. And I realized at that point that I had packed snacks in my bag, but I didn't have like a main course meal. So I had left, went to leave the house to go finish packing my lunch. So as I left the house, I came out to a driveway that led to the garage on the side of the house. And I noticed that the driveway was on a slight incline and it was like slippery to walk on. Um, and just then I know, like I got this eerie feeling like there was a unclean spirit around somewhere so I turn around and it's like dark and in the shadows I see a figure moving around coming towards me and as it got closer I, I, I realized it was like it looked like a mummy and um, like your typical kind of zombie mummy kind of and like I got scared at first and I went to like run away from it but it was I was on that slanted um driveway so it was like hard to get away and it got up to me and it like started to like try to grab onto me and I like like I shook it off and and then I just and I ran away and I started running into the street and as I'm running in the street I had this quick vision where I see like this drawing or a picture of a person with wings like an outline of that and um, and then I had this thought to fly so like I've had plenty of a, a lot of flying dreams um, uh, as I was since I was a kid like that was always something I was super interested in um, like if I knew if I had if, if I ever was able to get like superpowers that would be one of them that I would want to have and like I always used to ask and pray when I was a kid um that God allowed me to have wings or or the ability to fly so eventually he answered that um in dreams but I feel as though he showed me 
that that's one of the abilities that I'm going to have in my um in, in my in my my glory body and um I've also had a dream where I where he I, I saw myself with wings like I was looking in the mirror and I had wings but anyway in the dream I like I I'm, I'm thinking about flying and then I had this like whenever I get ready to fly in my dreams like I, it's hard to explain like I get this this will like this feeling that comes around and surrounds me and then I like get this light feeling and and then like I will I will for it to happen like I like I I want to go up and then I just start to like float and then as I'm floating then I like I get control of it and then I can just will wherever I want to move and I can just move so uh, so I get this, the, you know, the feeling of, of lightness of about to fly and then I lift off the ground and I'm like gliding around in the air for a bit and then I came landing down on the ground on my right shoulder and I like rolled, o rolled, rolled off onto the ground. And then I was about to go back into the house, into my house, and I had a thought, I don't want to get bring any germs from the mummy into the house and um, contaminate the house. So I looked back at the street and I, I then knew that the street was was uh, like a body of water. So I ran and I jumped into the water uh, to rinse off. And when, I'm, when I was in the water, um, I had this thought that there was something like a creature of some sort or a shark swimming around looking for something to eat. So I, I quickly like flipped out of the water and land back onto the um the sidewalk and and then I went to go back in the house and I uh, woke up after that. So I'm sitting here thinking, you know, there's been multiple times now where like every time I have a dream where I'm in water like swimming or under the water um I always get that feeling that there's there's like something lurking in the water and um and like I'll get a a vision of like a a, a dark figure swimming around and I know it's something big and like a a, a very strong creature in the water and, and then I'll like hurry up and get out. So I remember I had this thought at work today um, about, I remember coming across uh, something about Leviathan and it being a spiritual creature. So I went, so I started looking up researching to see if there's any verses that may relate to um, you know, what I keep having dreams about feeling that there's something lurking in the water. So I come across Isaiah 27, 1, which says, In that day, Jehovah, with his hard and great sh and strong sword, will punish Leviathan, the swift serpent, and Leviathan, the crooked serpent, and he will slay the monster that is in the sea. So that's basically the, you know, the verse explaining what I keep seeing or what I keep feeling around me whenever I get in the water. And I think it's, you know, the, the water represents the sea or it, it represents the Holy Spirit. So once I, you know, immerse myself into the Holy Spirit, this Leviathan creature um serpent is lurking around you know waiting to try to attack me at for you know as soon as i come out of the spirit so um like i said be, you know earlier in the dream um you know we were packing to get ready to go on this trip and it and it was the next day and this dream was last night so 
it, it's just a, another raptured, urgent rapture dream showing how close the time is that we're going to be taken away from here and be with the Lord forever and ever. Um, so I hope that gives you guys encouragement. It's just more hope and and more excitement that the Lord is going to be calling us up soon. So God bless you guys and I'll talk to you soon.